Hey, welcome back YouTube to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and I have another review for you. Um, I love saying that because that's pretty much you know my channel reviews. Um, but um, a book that I've been excitedly waiting for. I love the series. Um, I want to say I have like a top five, you know that, and and Batman, of course, is is uh, you know in the top five. Um, but this book, I mean, getting into indies and stuff, I have like, this will be a tie for my number one, and Barbaric being the other book, but Vinyl from Image Comics, 12 Gauge Productions, um, th this is definitely like tie for my number one. I love this book, and it just keeps getting better. Um, man, I got some itch in my nose. Um, in a nutshell, this is a, it is a, um, it's a serial killer that his best friend has been kidnapped and his best friend just happens to be an FBI agent that's after him but nonetheless his best friend and um, his the serial killer Walter um, is determined to get his best friend back Dennis um, from his captors his captors happens to be like a, a, I don't remember their name specifically but it's like the sunflower cult let's just call them that um, as the book goes um, Walter has called upon some of his friends and they are also other um, serial killers so he has formed a a dream team of serial, serial killers to uh, get back his friend um, Dennis we they are in the uh, compound right now it's like two different groups it's like uh, two twin serial killers and a big big giant of a serial killer named Guy so it's just the twins and guy, and they're in the compound um, killing the sunflower uh, group's men, and um, they they are looking for dinners. And on on the other hand, we have Walter, and um, uh, we he is with, um, and I'm drawing a blank at her name, but the FBI agent, um, and they are lo also looking for um, for dinners. Uh, first off, let's get into who this beautiful duck book is by, and let's go ahead and start the uh, soundtrack before I get too into it, right? Um, so this book does come with a song, and songs are important. Um, but this is Robert Johnson's Come On In My Kitchen. Alright, so first off, we got writer is Doug Wagner, artist is Daniel Hill Hilliard, colors is Dave Stewart, letters by Ed Dukeshire, um, and again, it's 12 Gauge Productions. So we're catching up with the twins and Guy, and they're in the compound, and they, they find this, and it's like a whole bunch of blood, and instantly they start getting excited, because uh, they know exactly who it is. It's this chick right here named Renee. Um, she has uh, this thing where she is into uh, basically skinning people, and, and she kind of, um, she has to put their blood on her. Um, and they show, uh, it's like different scenes, but it's Walter and the FBI agent, and they, they're here, and they're talking to, uh, you know, Renee, and, and um, you know, she has just saved them from uh, one of the, like a sunflower cult assassin that was creeping in on them, um, to no, no avail, because she ended up killing them. Um, we see the, the twins and, and Guy all excited. It's funny because they the, the twins mention like that how much they love Renee so much that they, they would let her kill them just so she could wear their skin because she has a thing for skinning people, right? Well, she also like um, makes clothes out of people and actually wears them. So they are all for that idea. They go, uh, they do this backstory where they go like, I think it says 23 hours before with a basic a conversation between Walter and Renee, and you get a little more meat into who Renee is, and how, how like how they met, and um, it's really just that Walter is just one of those type of people that accepts people, and him being a serial killer, of course he accepts other serial killer, because you could imagine that it would be the opposite, that, that they would be at each other's throat, like a ter territorial kind of thing. Um, you know, she kind of explains how she needs to cut herself and scratch at herself um, to to kind of, you know, get rid of uh, this, this anxiety and stuff that she has. And it's just been constant throughout her life. And that, that has to do with the whole putting blood on her and, and skinning people thing. 
um, like right here, she had skinned a man, and now she's like dipping in his blood, and she feels like rejuvenated kind of thing, kind of like vampire, if you would, but she just doesn't drink it. Um, we do see uh, one, one major thing is that she, she, uh, she has come up with this pig pet nickname for Walter, and she calls him Snap. Um, but that's kind of that, that side story. It's more of like her origin and why she needs to like, you know, wear the blood and skin of others. Um, and we catch up back with the twins and Guy and they're in the compound and they're, they're in like um, the mother's room. And um, we do see that the Guy is introduced to mother here. Of course, mother being in this like, um, you know, this, uh, this uh, I would say a bunker inside a bunker, I guess you can say. Cecilia being the, the ringleader of the uh, Sunflower group has for some reasons locked up mother and, and mother is this pretty creepy and ancient and weird looking. Um, they go into uh, like Walter and the FBI agent are um, they are kind of investigating um, Dennis's place where he was kidnapped um, and they do show that uh, you know that he has like this huge collection of records and they go back into like why um, you know what the music is with with uh, with the vinyl killer why it's so important um, and he goes back into if you go back into the first issue how Dennis had bought um, a copy to that song come on in my kitchen by Robert Johnson um, and that he was going to award him once he like gave him information on a a current um, murder that he was following. Um, Walter does go into great detail how he was supposed to earn it and he still has not earned it so it is not his. He even leaves it there as they show here the FBI agent even offers it up to him like just take it you know and he's like no I have not earned it I need to get back Dennis and then do what I need to do to get it. Um, he explains in great detail about his the the how the music came into his serial killing and basically he just explained that he would you know whenever he would serial kill he would kind of put on uh, music and it, it so happened that if you had a vinyl collection he was more prone to uh, like you for his killing type thing basically he would break into your house and go through your vinyl collection and put something on while he was doing his deed um, and he kind of states that like that he uses music as far as memories and they kind of go into one of the biggest easter eggs that has been going on from issue three i've pointed out that there is this little red butterfly that kind of flitters around as the comic book goes um the i noticed that the little butterfly is kind of in the background and and they don't focus too much on but i'll show you right here just if you look right there you'll see that little red butterfly um, and I knew it had to be something, I just couldn't quite figure it out. They do, um, they do kind of explain what the little red butterfly is, but I'll get there. So they break off and um, they have Renee and she, you know, of course, uh, now she is in the compound and she is looking around for Dennis as well. We see that she is being watched by somebody, uh, they, don't, they don't show who yet, I mean, uh, but they do show it's someone that, that's quite big. Um, they do show that Dennis and the FBI agent is, is going through the compound as well and they have found Dennis and he is being guarded by like this butcher type of, of person here. Um, I want to say it's a woman but it's really hard to tell. Um, but we just see that, that you know she is butchering, butchering this pig getting ready for this feast or whatever and, and uh, Walter <clears throat> basically comes up behind her and and stabs her in the eyes with sunflowers as they, they show and uh, and he kind of cleaves her a, a new uh, gash in the head but they show right there that you know she's got these sunflowers in her eyes and and uh, you know basically cuts her one in the noggin um, they do go into the the red butterfly Easter egg because right here if you look in great detail you'll see the red butterfly and you'll see this this these dots go into her hand and um, you know just like they, they were going into detail about the music where they show that chick grabbing at his iPod and sure enough um, she ends up destroying it right as she is being killed and they show down here um, the FBI agent um, 
you know, kind of, you know, kind of screams and, and says, oh, go, oh, you know, like a what the fuck moment. And uh, Dennis is like, well, what's going on with him? And it, and, and um, it is revealed that, that he is, uh, that he has Alzheimer's and he definitely needs the music to remember. Um, that's what the Red Butterfly has been throughout the comic that is like, maybe his memories or something as we see it and just like right there with the red butterfly they do show the dot 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 and the red butterfly leaving um the scene showing that that maybe we were about to see an altogether different uh walter and a vinyl killer uh per se if he, i mean if he doesn't remember things he doesn't understand why he's there he might lash out kind of thing um <laughs> well what a great um ending and I love the little Easter egg thing. I, I knew it had to be something so I'm great that they finally kind of revealed what that was and I, I, I might not even have the uh, faintest idea if that's the right explanation of what that is. I think that's what it is. It's like his, it, you know, every time you see the, the butterfly it's a song that's being played on his iPod and it's, it's also him remembering maybe a different death that he caused or, you know, something like that. Because he does say that most of the songs are related to a killing. So, uh, and he did, he did start using music because he likes the time frame. You know, most songs are between three to six minutes long, something like that. So you can do quite a bit of damage in three to six minutes. As you can see, it, it took like seconds to uh, Sunflower, a chick. Um, they do show previews of the... Uh, next issue that is coming and it looks like a guy is in the fight for his life uh, in the next issue. Um, they do show that they have a limited villain variants which man I, I would love any one of these. They, they, they say like metal variants. I do not have any metal variants. I don't have money for that. But um, that is a vinyl from Image Comics issue number three and what a stellar issue. Again it stays at the top of my favorite comics. Um, this is for for those of you that are just tuning into this one this is a uh, kind of a sequel to a a previous project that they worked on uh, the the same people right here artist uh, writer letterist colorist um they did plastic from image comics if you have not uh, if you don't know about that check out my review on that i have reviews on plastic up as well um eventually i'm going to make me a a Doug Wagner and a playlist and have that ready to go, you know. Um, but that's my review, guys. If you've read this, let me know what you thought. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. Thanks for stopping by, definitely. And I will see y'all soon.